Jackrabbit Store simplifies selling items and speeds up the checkout process. Check this setup list and things to consider before adding items. In the item number slash barcode field, you may enter an item number or use a barcode scanner and it can enter the number for you. The track quantity on hand can be set to no for service items or other items you don't need to track inventory for, such as drop-in classes. Anytime more inventory is received, edit the item and add the amount received to the quantity on hand field. Note that whenever an item is sold, the quantity on hand amount is reduced, and if an item is returned, the quantity is added back to the quantity on hand amount. Ideally, each item will have a unique item number. However, if an item comes in various colors or sizes and you wish to track inventory by the color or by size, create an item for each and include the color or size information in the item number or description. Add multiple items if you sell the same item at multiple locations if you want to track inventory at each location. Enter the price your customers will pay for this item without tax included in the item price field. Select an item tax rate for this item. Store items can have different tax rates and are set up separately from your general tax rate setting. Select a Category 1, Transaction Type, and if you wish, a Transaction Subtype. Entering a vendor for the item allows you to run store reports by vendor. Entering an item cost allows you to determine your profit by item when you run a profit report. If you are tracking your quantity on hand, enter a reorder alert quantity. When your quantity on hand is at or below this number, an alert will appear on your executive dashboard. Use the Save and Add Another button to continue adding items. Refer to our Help Center for more information.